I don't consider myself to be a speed demon by any means. Truth be told, I'm the most comfortable and having the most fun at a pretty moderate cruising speed when I ride electric skateboards. Me, nothing beats just chilling and cruising. But every now and then, especially when I'm testing out new electric skateboards for this channel, I do like to full throttle it and just push myself to see how fast I can go on a board and just beat my own personal speed record. I think that when a consumer is looking up different boards to purchase, I think top speed is definitely something that they would consider. But just because a board is rated to go 25 miles per hour doesn't mean there is nothing you can do to go even faster than that. Today, I'm gonna be talking about several different ways you can go even faster on your electric skateboard so that you can beat your own personal speed record. Records. The best part is most of these are completely free and you don't need to buy anything or upgrade your board to do it. Before we get into that, I want to know what is the fastest you've ever gone on an electric skateboard? Leave it in the comment section down below. Leave the speed and the board you are riding. I want to know. Personally, my fastest is about 31, 32 miles per hour, but I forgot what board it was. Anyways, let's get started. The first way to go faster on your board is to ride with a full battery. Something called voltage sag happens when you're riding your board and it's not fully charged. Voltage sag is a phenomenon where you experience a drop in performance when the battery is asked to work harder or when the battery is drained to a certain level. Dummy skaters that use poor batteries will see the board drop in both torque and top speed once the battery level drops below 50% or so. Voltage sag will happen to any battery. However, the better the quality of the battery and the better the battery pack, the lesser of an impact the sag will have. Depending on the type of batteries you use, you may still be able to reach the top speed of your board, no matter if it's fully charged or whatever it may be at. But if you want to squeeze out every last bit of performance, your best bet is to ride with a full battery. Before moving on to the next tip, I just want to thank the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. I myself am a lifelong learner and I've been diving deep into the topics of filmmaking to get better shots for my videos, photography for thumbnails, and Instagram, and 360 video to make my work here on YouTube even better. Lately, I've been taking Sean Dalton's Becoming an Instagram Influencer class so I can learn how to better use that platform and my biggest takeaway from it is to just create engaging content content that you actually enjoy making. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow your creativity wherever it takes you. Skillshare believes a strong community is essential to personal growth. Tap into the support of fellow creatives who provide encouragement, communication, and inspiration. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of a premium membership so you can explore your creativity. A Skillshare membership would be a great gift for your budding creative. And now on to the next tip. The second thing you can do to go fast there is to lose some weight. And I'm not exactly talking hitting the gym, pounding the calories, putting down the M&M cookies. While yes, that will work in the long term, it'll probably even be a better lifestyle choice. The quickest and fastest way to lose weight is just to remove unnecessary gear from your body while riding. The backpack loaded with all your crap, remove it. The speaker you have clipped on your belt, Take it off. All you really need is the clothes on your back and whatever protective gear you want to ride with. Like a car with every ounce or pound of weight removed from the board, your board will possess a better horsepower to weight ratio, enabling it to accelerate faster and improve handling characteristics. It'll reduce braking time while also reducing battery consumption so you'll get more range. A general rule of thumb is for every 10% reduction in weight, a comparable 10% reduction in force required to accelerate or decelerate an object. In short, the heavier you are, the more your board will have to work, resulting in less performance. This means lower range and ultimately lower top speed. So, if you want to go faster, shed some pounds or shed some gear. Another free way to go even faster is to speed tuck. I'm guilty of not really doing this, so I should listen to my own advice. There's a reason why you see downhill longboarders do this during their runs and races. They're actually making themselves even more aerodynamic and cutting through the wind. For those who are unfamiliar with the concept of a speed tuck, the most simple definition is an aerodynamic positioning of the body and ligaments in order to achieve minimum wind resistance. Speed tuck is commonly used during downhill racing, but can also be used to an extent during other forms of riding. The main idea of a speed tuck is to remove all pockets 
present around the body during the ride in order to reduce the amount of drag and wind resistance the body endures. Pockets are areas in between body parts which cause drag and wind resistance as a result of body parts being too far apart and creating an opening. Now the speed tuck, like many things in the longboard world, come in many shapes and sizes due to each person being a different height, having different length body parts, and every person's speed tuck is going to be a little different. This also applies to the world of electric skateboards. And while it can help improve your top speed, I would say for the most part during your normal rides, I wouldn't really stress too much about it. Just enjoy yourself on your board, but for when you're feeling speedy, you know what to do. Up. The next method sort of goes along the lines of reducing resistance on your ride, and that is to skate on a smooth road. No secret that riding on a crappy road sucks, so trying to ride fast on a crappy road won't suck except it'll suck fast. You'll be less stable and it just really doesn't make for a fun time at all. A rougher road has more bumps, very tiny ones, but those will reduce your momentum and slow you down. Imagine it as tiny hills that hit your wheels that you have to go over each and every time they roll. Of course, these tiny hills will slow you down a lot, right? Might be a little weird, but have you seen that Olympic sport curling? You know, the one where they clean and smoothen the ice to the point of it being like glass so that the puck or whatever it is, I don't know, has the smoothest possible route. Anyways, the point is the less resistance there is for your wheels, the better they can roll, thus making you go faster. The last free tip to go faster on your electric skateboard is to ride downhill. It just makes sense. If you're going down a steep slope, you'll gain more speed and you'll just go faster. Some people may say it's cheating, I say do whatever you want dude. The steeper the slope, the faster you'll go. And now on upgrades you can do to your board to reach higher speed. The first purchase I recommend if your board allows it is to get bigger wheels. This mostly applies to belt driven boards or direct drive boards where you can actually swap wheels out. So hub motor people, sorry unless the manufacturer of your board actually makes larger hub motor sleeves, you're kind of out of luck. The physics behind why bigger wheels have a higher top speed is intriguing, and to be honest, it's kind of hard to summarize without getting too in depth, but for the most part, bigger wheels equals higher top speed. To put it simply, bigger wheels equals higher top speed, but you're slower off the line, so you're gonna have less acceleration and also less range. So if you're okay with sacrificing that for a higher top speed, big wheels. Next upgrade I don't really recommend too much because I think the effects of it are very marginal. But if you want the best chance of getting the highest top speed possible, you're going to want to upgrade your bearings to ceramic bearings. New, fresh bearings will roll better, smoother, and faster. Especially compared to old, rusty steel bearings. Ceramic bearings are built to withstand greater temperatures while spinning in your wheel, and they're also waterproof, which means they're rust free and easy to maintain. I believe they have less friction too. I'm not exactly sure how the science works there. But the reason why I don't recommend you do this first is because the price to performance ratio doesn't make sense to me. Ceramic bearings won't magically make you go 5, 10 miles per hour faster. You might be able to get 1, 2, 3. I just think that the other free methods are a much better way of increasing your top speed and you don't really have to spend money. But if you think ceramics are for you, let me know how that goes. And the last thing to upgrade to go even faster is your whole board. Dude, just get a whole new board that goes even faster if your board isn't fast enough for you. Or you can build one. I know a lot of people are doing DIY electric skateboards now and hey, it could be a fun project. Anyways, that's all that I've got. If you have any other tips on how to go faster, be sure to leave them down in the comments section down below. That way you can help out the other speed demons out there. If you enjoyed this tip style video, let me know. I think I have other tips that I want to share with you guys. Let me know what you want to hear me talk about also in the comments section. But yeah, if you made it this far, thank you so much. Really appreciate you. Thumbs ups are great. Subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, guys, stay stoked. I'm out. Peace.